that we have, we'll be given two trees p and q we have to tell if they are identical or same or not and when i say two trees are same or not they just mean they should be exactly same exactly same as in structurally and identical like they should be structurally identical and the nodes have the same value what are in what do you mean by structurally identical structurally as you can see if something is like this it is its structure is slanted by 60 degrees so you can see its structure should also be started by 60 degrees so this is the first tree it is 60 degrees but this is the second tree which is 120 degrees so ideally it should also have been 60 degrees so this is structurally identical and other things is is having the same value okay values you can see are same but they are not structurally identical here in this example you can see they are structurally identical but the values are not same here it is two here it is one so now you have to just find out if they are structurally identical or not now in these kind of cases when you have to when you are given two trees you have to find the mirror you have to find you have to flip the trees you have to do something you have to do if they are same or not you have to just find if the structure is same or not so in these kind of cases we can we can just do a simple dfs travels on a tree but Aryan, uh, we have given two trees so what to do go parallelly do the dfs travels on both the trees Aryan, I have done only DFS traversal on one tree. How I can do parallel in both the trees? Simple. If you can say, because see, usually when a tree is given, we are just given a root node of the tree, which is okay. P and Q are the root nodes of the tree. Then I can do one thing. I know that in if I am doing a DFS traversal on one of the trees, then how could it have gone? Okay, you will have just gone to root node, then you would have gone to its left, and then when the entire left tree is done, then you would have gone to the right. This is how a DFS traversal works, right? Now, while doing this, keep on parallelly comparing. Okay, you were at P, you were at Q. Now, compare. Okay, both of them have a, have a value. Again, both of them have a value and the value is same. One and one. Yeah, because R and Y, you, did you check? Both of them have a value, bro. If there is no value at that node, which means the node is null, and then you try to access the value, no, then it will give you a null pointer exception. That's a standard technique. If something is null and you try to access its value, then it will always give a null pointer exception. So you have to get rid of it. So firstly, you check, okay, both the nodes are there and then the value is same. Oh, value is same? Just go on to left. Okay, my P and Q both go on to left. Again, values are same. Yeah, bro, same. Again, go on to left. Again, in my memory, I have kept. I will go on to right later on in future. Okay, go on to left. P and Q. Bro, both are null, bro. P and Q both are null. Oh, bro, great. If both are null, which means I have been following same thing. Again, R in what if it becomes like not equal, which means the values become not same. Oh, for sure. Then the, then the trees are not same. Simply written false from there itself. That is the option we have, only option. Now, okay, we were at P and Q. Both are null, both are same, simply, it is not true, because it's a null, you, you cannot go much further, much left, it is the last thing which you could have gone, and it is null, both are same, simply, it is not true, okay bro, then I will go on to its right, because right was also remaining, okay, P and Q here, again both are null, great bro, great, simply, both are null, simply, it is not true, and go on, okay, go on, I will go on to left, ah, sorry, I will go on to right, here is the P and Q, a simple, DFS traversal. Now again, both have a value and both are same value, 3 and 3. Again, bro, go on to left, P. Again, go on to left, Q. Again, both are null, both are same, return true. Then go on to right, P. Go on to right, Q. Again, both are same, both are null, return true. Then, oh, bro, trees completed. Oh, lastly, I return a true. For sure, these, these two trees are same. So ultimately, you saw what I did. I compare the value if P value is equal to Q value at a specific pointer P and Q. I compared the P and Q values. Then I checked my P left. It should be again. P left is a recursive. It's a recursive call. I will not go and actually check. I just do a simple recursive call. Go and check P's left. And also parallelly, I'll go and check my Q's left. This is left portion, but also I have to make sure the right portion should also be true. Okay. The right portion should also give me that it is also same. And okay, Q's right. It is same way saying that I had a problem. I compared, I, I compared the root values. I compared the, okay, node root values. And then I asked my recursion, bro, can you please go and compare if the left subtree is equal to my this left subtree and 
and my right subtree is equal to my this right subtree. I went on and asked this to my recursion. So this is you can easily see that my entire comparison of this tree and this tree I broke it down to that compare the values manually of the root nodes and then ask recursion that left and left values are same right and right values are same and this is what recursion will do. So okay now you have got the recursive conditions are in what about the base conditions and stuff simple base conditions as we saw that when both of them are null simply return a true because we saw that if both of them were null we simply return a true but um if someone is null while other is not which means if q if p is null while q is not or if q is null while p is not then uh, it is not a structurally equal tree how are and how you can say that because let's take an example p was here q was here okay both are the same values nine sorry, one and one go on to left okay p will go on to left and then same way q will go on to left okay q will go on to left bro p has a value q doesn't which means q is null p is not q is null p is not they are not structurally same so return a false self i return a false from here itself now what if what if the values are not same which means p was here q was here okay are you the same go on to left okay go on to left i'll go my i'll take my p here and my q here nodes are there but the values are not same p value is 2 q value is 1 so this condition will get violated and if this is not equal i have to simply return a false mm. sorry so that is the only thing that i'll do i'll simply apply a simple dfs called simple recursion because i have to compare two trees i'll compare their node values and i'll ask my recursion to compare its left tree and compare its right tree and that's how i can simply solve it cool the code is pretty short and simple cute code that firstly you will simply compare that if you had reached again these two are the base conditions right that if you had reached the super null which means if p is null and q is null simply return a true itself because both are null both are okay now if someone is null again this below condition is after this above condition so now if i have reached this specific line it means both of them were not null simultaneously so if someone is null it indirectly means that other is not null if q is null it indirectly means my p was not null so if any of them is null means other of other one was not null in that case bro it is not structurally identical simply return a false itself and then uh, i simply compare bro if the p value and q values p value and q value root values are same compare the left child of both p and q and the right child of both p and q both are same all, all both are actually same then only i can say that okay my entire tree was same so if the values are equal r and what if the values are not equal bro if the values are not equal simply you are returning a false itself so if the values are equal only then you check is same tree for the left part of both the p and q and the right part again it's an and because you have to verify the entire tree should be same and the right part p and q and that's how you can simply solve it now comes the interesting part what is the time complexity of this you will see the time complexity is o of minimum of mn considering m nodes i have in let's say uh, uh my tree p and n nodes i have in tree q then you will see that this because of this condition whosoever becomes null first which means whosoever has a less nodes first as you saw that if i have a tree like let's say like this let's say one tree i have like this other tree i have like this right now if my p was here so if my p was here and my q was here then in the next step p will come here and the q will come here you will see the q is null the p is not but still both are unequal so whosoever was minimum which means q had less less number of nodes so it will actually start return false bro false 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 bro false because it is actually false itself so whosoever has a smaller or lesser number of nodes it will actually construct like restrict our entire dfs because it will give me null values first and that null value will return first and that's how i can simply say that minimum of both the values will actually be my time complexity and space space is okay recursive stack call again recursive stack call same way whosoever has a small recursive stack call that will be my answer h1 or h2 i can take and that's how is the space and time for this again the question is not hard but to give the correct time complexity is actually the main thing of this problem cool thank you bye bye, -bye.